In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share your media between your phone, your computer, and the cloud. So you can transfer them from one device to another, watch them from one device to another. It isn't just a one-way transaction. And the way we're going to do this is using DLNA as a service and Skifta. Now DLNA is already built in to your computer and to many other devices, as well as most phones. Okay, so what you want to do is go to skifta.com and then you're going to want to download Skifta. Now there's some information up here about getting started and how Skifta works. So here it says uh, media from your phone to a DLNA compatible player, play internet media from the cloud to a TV or a stereo using your phone, and remotely stream media from home to your phone. Okay, so those are some things you can do with it. So go ahead and download the software and install it. Okay, now once you have it installed, you're going to be asked to create an account. And the account is free, so just go ahead and create one. You can also sign up from here if you don't want to do it from within the app. So you see it's very simple. Your first name, last name, email address, and username and password you want to use. You agree to the terms. And if you want tips from Skifta, click this box and sign up. Okay, so I'm just going to sign into my account here. Okay, and this will just show you your Skifta places and your channels. Now, you need to start the Skifta service on your computer, and it will have created a desktop icon once you've installed the software. So I'm going to start that up. And I right-click in my taskbar. I can start the Skifta service there. And it'll start up. Okay, so you notice here that it's, it's seeing my PC here. So here's what's on there. Now when you right click on the icon on the taskbar, there's a preferences, and you can enable the media server. And then here you can give it a photo path. You can give it a video path. So I have a bunch of movies on one of my drives, so I put movies here. And you just select where you want here. And your music path, where your new music is. You set all that up and it'll know about the streaming there. Okay, now let's go and have a look at what's on my phone. There is an app for the phone. Okay, so when you open Skifta on your phone, this is what you see. Okay, so from here it'll just open by itself when it thinks for a second. And then once you're in there, it gives you a menu. So you're going to choose a media source, and it's the only thing it's going to let you do right now. So just pick this, just choose here, and then it's going to go to another screen. And here you can choose from here, which is your home network. You can choose remote or you can choose channels. So what is showing now are the sources that I can play video from on my home network. So you see my phone and then there's another computer on the network here. So I can choose either of these to, as a source of my media. Okay, when I disconnect my local network and go onto the mobile network, you can see now when I hit remote, I can see what I have available from my ro remote, which is my PC. So I could select that as a data source. Now here we have channels. These are the different web-based things that you can do. So you can put a check mark on these and then you can set them up and you can get data from any of these, for instance my Facebook photos or anything from my Dropbox. And then when we go back to here, when I'm hooked up to 4G, this is now showing me the different things here. So my phone and then Facebook and Dropbox, which I've set up as my channel, so I can stream from those. Okay, so I hooked to the network and charted it over again, so we're going to choose a media source. I'm going to choose the media server tim2-pc in this case. This is where my media is stored on my DLNA devices and I'll be able to get my movies from here which is what I want to play. Okay so now what I need to do is choose a player. So it'll bring up the devices eligible. Okay so what I'm going to do is choose the phone here but if I had other DLNA devices as I said they would all show on here. Now if you have an unlisted device you can choose this here. You might have to set up some manual settings. So I'll choose the phone. Okay, now I want to browse and play media, so I'll click that. 
Okay, and now it's retrieving it for me here. Next, I'm going to choose video. And then I'm going to go by folder. And there they are. So I can just select one and it'll play on my device. Okay, so that's all there is to it. You can select any device that will play media and you can select any device that will accept the media and you can get the media from one of those devices and play it on another including your cloud devices like Dropbox. Okay, so that's how you can use Skifta to share your media.